Hello everyone and welcome back to another Excel Academy YouTube video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the major industrial regions in South Africa. So let's first take a look at Gauteng, whose main industries, activities and products include metal, iron, steel, machinery, chemicals, transport and equipment. Reason for development in Gauteng includes the discovery of gold, good agricultural land, a very large population and large market, abundance of raw materials, availability of water with large dams and sufficient rainfall, a good transport network linked to ports, and finally, huge financial capital. Some limitations include the fact that Gauteng is far from harbours and therefore transport costs are high. Water scarcity in the future due to higher demands with the bigger population and climate change. And finally, housing and social needs not being adequate enough for the growing population. Now let's move on to the Southwestern Cape, whose main industries, activities and products include wine, fresh fruit packing, dried fruit, canning of fruit, fishing, clothing and textiles, and finally food. Some reasons for development in the southwestern Cape include the fact that it's the first historical place in South Africa, it has a tradition of specialised manufacturing skills, inland dams provide adequate water supply for now, the Southwestern Cape also has strong educational facilities and standards and also has important harbours located, lo located in Saldana and Cape Town. It has a good road and rail network. The Southwestern Cape also has a large local market and foreign income generated from tourism. It is also the tourism hub of South Africa. And finally, the good agricultural lands in the southwestern Cape are due to its natural valleys, which are perfect for the growing of fruit and citrus plants, which the region is noted for. Some limitations in the southwestern Cape include the fact that there is a limited power supply, there are few natural resources, dry summers, therefore water supply is limited, and finally, buying power in this area is less than the Gauteng region. Now let's take a look at the Itikweni area, which is comprised of Durban, Pinetown and Pietermaritzburg. The Itikweni area's main industries, activities and products include sugar, chemicals, paint, textiles and shipping. The reason for development in Itikweni include a large available market, the Durban and Richards Bay harbours, or ports, the abundance of natural resources, the high availability of water for industry and agriculture, the high rainfall which is generated due to the warm Mozambican ocean current, energy being available due to the presence of coal, a large population and therefore a large number of skilled and unskilled labourers around, and finally, a fairly good road and rail network. Some limitations of this area include the fact that Durban Harbour is already developed to its capacity and hilly topography, and therefore industry cannot expand because industrial regions need flat land in order to expand. Finally, let's take a look at the Nelson Mandela metropolitan area, which is comprised of East London and Port Elizabeth. The main industries, activities and products found in this area is predominantly motor vehicle assembly plants and motor vehicle assembly parts. Reason for development in this area include an abundance of water, a modern harbour, a large labour pool due to the large amount of unemployment in the region, a good transport network linked to ports by means of rail, and a successful IDZ. 
Some limitations for this area include the fact that it's far from main consumer areas. It cannot compete with cheap labor costs in Asia and Eastern Europe for car assembly production and labor unrest and strikes. There are some problems with the centralization of industry, and these include pollution, overcrowding of urban areas, and unemployment in that region, as there are just too many people. The solution to this is decentralization. Therefore, STIs and IDZs were developed. The government promoted this by firstly implementing tax rebates, secondly providing free skills training, and lastly providing land at a cheaper rate. Thank you so much for watching this Excel Academy YouTube video on the main industrial regions in South Africa. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content to come.